Hi, okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick impromptu video. Um, I just got out of the shower and my hair is like really wet and I like to do my makeup at that time because I like to let it air dry a little bit before I do it. So it's a weird process that I have, but um, yeah, I just brushed it out and I'm just gonna quickly do my eyes. Um, and I'm gonna put it in fast forward mode because that's not really what this video is about. This video is way more about um, longevity, uh, particularly because today's the first day of Navratri, so nine nights of glorious sweating and pigging out and having fun. Um, it's definitely a Gujarat thing, and it's celebrated all over the world. NRIs do it everywhere, but um, it's very unique when you're in the motherland. Um, so yeah, so I'm just excited because today's the first night, and I just want to quickly walk you through some um, tips and tricks that have helped me stay um, looking the way I do when I leave the house, even towards the end of the night after dancing and sweating and all that. So um, I highly recommend this. Oh gosh, you can't see. Okay, now you can see it. Um, it's actually um, a baby cream uh, for like uh, very gentle cream for babies uh, from Paris, but it's just one of those things that um, has just been in everyone, you know, all makeup artists have this pretty much um, and they use it as a base. So I just got out, I washed my face obviously in the shower and I put on, um, what did I put on? I put on this uh, Korean serum, which is like a raw sauce, which is also very different, but I have very dry skin and the hard water here really um, doesn't help. So that balances my skin out and then I put this on and that's why I'm a little shiny right now. But I love it because my foundation and everything is going to be um, sticking properly. So I'm just going to go in with uh, Laura Mercier, um, the Wheat and Eye Basics. And I'm going to put it in fast forward mode right now because I'm just going to do my eyes. And then I'm going to quickly do my face and I'm going to, well, I'll walk you through it. But anyway, let me just do my eyes for now. So I did my eyes, um, as you can see, there's a bunch of colors you saw me doing them, and I used the Modern Renaissance palette. Um, I primarily used, uh, this was the first color I used, and this was the second color I used over here, and then this one was the one that I tapped into the middle of my eye, um, and this was the one that I just used in the corner to make it a little darker. Um, and I also used another color at the end, which is this NARS, I mean, it looks blinding on there because it actually is. It's um, Andromeda by NARS, um, and it's a dual intensity eyeshadow, so they come in single ones like this. Um, and they, they're just really great for the inner eye. But I mean, honestly, you don't need to have um, that for your inner eye. You really can work with a highlighter as well. So if you already have a highlighter in your um, stash, I mean, you don't have to run out and get this, but this is just, you know, if you're feeling a little spendy, you can get it. Um, so, okay, so I'm gonna be right back. I just have to wet my beauty blender, so I'll be right back after I'm done with that. Hi, so I'm back, um, and I just, I have a cotton swab, you know, a regular cotton thing, um, and I dipped it in my micellar water, so I put it all over. So I'm going to just quickly run it and flick it right under my eye, like this, um, and you can, s can you see that? It's hard to see because of all this like weird lighting. I really have to work on the lighting. My whole house, I, I think it's just, I don't, know. don't like the lighting situation pretty much. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you can, okay, you know what, how you can see it? So you see this, this is clean, this is it. It's just a little bit of fallout, um, but I like to clean it up um, because I feel better. All right, so now we're gonna go back into fast forward mode, but I'm just gonna quickly walk you through what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using the Double Wear um, Extended Stay by Estee Lauder, and um, if you've seen my foundation video, surprise, surprise, you know what I'm gonna be using. I'm going to be using this, uh, the Charlotte Tilbury in the number seven because I am that color at the moment. I'm also gonna be putting the Dr. Chart UV down the center and pulling it out on the cupids and over here just to give me some illumination. Um, and. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to put a UV illuminator on top of that. But anyway, for now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to fast forward the rest of this, and um, you can, you know, you can just see how I'm doing that. I'm using a beauty blender, a wet beauty blender, obviously, to soak it in. After that, I'm going to look like a hot mess because I'm going to take translucent powder and I'm going to bake my face. So I'm going to put it all over my face. This is the key, actually, to making sure that your uh, makeup is very sweat-proof and um, it's great. 
um, it's not gonna budge. So um, yeah, just watch and fast forward uh, so you get an idea of it and then I'll walk you through the baking process. So what I'm going to do is bake my face. What that means is I'm going to put a layer of powder. Um, you can use translucent powder, you can use regular powder. I'm gonna put a layer of powder over this foundation. What that's gonna do is it's gonna heat up the foundation underneath um, the powder and it's gonna sink into my pores better. It's gonna look very natural and it's also gonna set really, really well. So I have this white one which uh, does not leave a cast, but it can if you're very dark, so you could always use a colored one um, if you want, um, or you could just go with this translucent one, and you'll see if you put a setting spray over it, the white cast totally goes away. It looks very funny, because it is funny, and then I'm going to um, just pat it on, and it'll look like, you know, like a Japanese geisha where I have all this white stuff on my face. I'm gonna do my hair, and I'll be back. <laughs> Alright, so I'm done with my hair. I'm just going to brush it out and just start dusting it off. So you don't press very hard because you actually don't want to displace um, the foundation under that. So I, I took the flat top one over here because it's dense, um, so it takes most of it off. Then I just like to go through this and just lightly dust the rest off. Take a stippling brush. One more time. So the bristles start off very dense on the first brush where they're really put together. And on the second brush, they're a lot more fluffier um, than a stippling brush. And then I go in with a stippling, which is very loosey-goosey. Um, so I'm basically after this, I'm just gonna spritz my face. Um, so I'm gonna use MAC Fix Plus. That's it. Now I'm going to finish the rest of my face and I'll show you the products and we'll come back.